destination Newry, and it's with the greatest joy that I welcome the Natasha England of Ico Ico fame from the 60s. Say hello to the people. How you 60s, doing? 60s. When was it? You're not that 80s. old. 80s. 80s. Get my Zimmer frame now. Yeah, but <laughs> sir, 60s was not the iconic age. But this is Tom Newman. The iconic age of rock and all of that. Yeah. Well, it was, yeah, but we were... That's fast. what I got to give you. I thought you were one of the Beatles people. <laughs> and that's what confused me. Probably in the, no, another life. Silla Black, you're that thinking of. Black. Do you remember Silla Black? Yeah. Yeah. How are you, Tom? I'm hanging on, Rowan. And I'm how are you, all... Natasha? I'm all right. I've got a bit of a cold. Yeah, you're just in. You're working with Tom now here. We are. Yeah. Well, we I are. want to just uh, relax there because I want to uh, take you on a journey down memory lane. I go, I go. Andrew. A long memory lane, 60s. Yeah. But not, no, no, it's not that far back. <laughs> just I'm, I'm, I'm numerically dyslexic. <laughs> ah. <laughs> It's I, flat pack. It's flat. No, it's not. Well, I don't know. It's it's one of these difficult. Are you things. sure they're not trying to kidnap you and take We've you over there and send me messages asking for ransom to be paid? <laughs> no. Well, I doubt it. I doubt. Although, We're, you know, who can say? Who Rio can is a very strange place. It apparently, is. absolutely. Delighted to welcome the two folk, Natasha. Yeah. Lovely to see you again. Ah. Eight Lovely months, to six, see seven you. months, seven months, Natasha. Yeah. So, what have you been yeah, up to, has. Rowan? Yeah. That's what I want to know. What have you been? Well, I haven't I've seen you for to. long. I've been to England I'm working since very, very hard. Just as you're working in England, I'm working here from every morning in here at 5 o'clock, out of here at 3 o'clock, into bed about 8 o'clock, half past 8. No. Very well rested. No. Oh, totally so. Uh, a, a, a relative paucity of uh, femininity in my life. Oh, moment, God. You know, oh, God. Which is a terrible tragedy. You know, but you've sorted that out for yourself. Well, you'll find you know, someone. Yeah, you, so will you, dear boy. I think I, I have. I mean, I think I have. I think I have. 
Well, that's wonderful. But you, you, you went far away. You went to Rio de Janeiro. I haven't been anywhere. No, no. no. But you, you met at the Mike Oldfield concert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was just—it's a, a cyber Spark. thing, and I, I don't know. I want it to happen because I'm desperate to fall. No, you're love. not desperate. You've never been desperate in your life. Not desperate, no. But it would be a wonderful thing. Yeah, it would be to fall in love once more. Wow. Before I'm too old. Many times have you fallen in love in your life? <clears throat> and I prom we'll each answer this question. Shall Probably. We? No, we'll think about it. Okay, go ahead. Well, are you are you counting the 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 mad infatuations of teenage years? I'm talking love. Love. Only love. Serious love. Well, love that led to <laughs> consummation. Consummation. The 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 promise oh, well, of happiness forever. Probably three or four, maybe four times at the absolute mm. most. Three three yeah. times for sure. Yeah. And yeah. four times. You know, and is yeah, it yeah, is it true saying. what they say? Better to have loved than lost, than oh, never to have loved yeah, at all. Yeah, really. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, if, absolutely. especially for someone you agree with a, that, Natasha. If you're mm -hmm. if you're creative, if you're an artist or a poet or a musician, the grist of love and the, and the pain and the anguish that comes of being in love and falling out of love or being dumped, that's where poetry and music yeah. and art Definitely. comes Lift from. You through so it. you have to have mm. that mm. that uh, it's the stuff of every conflict. song we song we hear isn't yeah. it yeah yeah i think you, you're saddest or your worst or your most emotional you can write your best songs yeah yeah i mean you don't plan that you don't want to be like that but no. out of that well, comes yeah i mean is it, is it is it an escape hatch the music to get you out well, of it it's a way of expressing it's yourself way, and, and it happens yeah. to relate People can relate because it's all about emotions. We've I mean, all when, been there. When you're in your teenage years, years, it's you don't understand what's going on, so it's all angst. Yeah. All these angst-ridden ditties about, you know, f never being yeah. in love again, and I'll, oh, you yeah. know, be, and all that sad stuff. But it's all part of making something that you understand that your spirit can can get mm -hmm. get get a grip of really yeah. mm. i rather think that infidelity is okay because it breaks the monogamy <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry did i say that <laughs> you said that out loud <laughs> <laughs> so many times were you in love uh, i Natasha. would say about three four three, three four definitely yeah. four heart uh, with, uh, and if one in particular perhaps heart-wrenchingly awful that you've lost yeah, I, I've left people loving them. That's hard. That is really hard. That is hard. That is hard. It's when you're still in love with them or love them and you leave because it's not right. Yeah. That is really hard. And I've done that. A and you knew of times. it wasn't right. Yeah. But not right because of you. No, no, no. Because Just of that. To, circumstances. Yeah. And because of how we we grew or didn't grow together. Yeah. Or their outlook in life. Yeah. Um, they just became separate, different. They wouldn't yeah. have noticed it, but yeah. well, I did. I, I have to feel that. No, I notice it right away. Yeah. But there's been a reason why I've walked away. Yes, but of course. But it's very sad. I think it's, that's gwrenching. Mm. When you're still in love with someone, but you leave them. Oh. It's yeah, hell on earth. Look at the songs you get from that. I know. Yeah. I've got some great songs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, did did it. you did it just cynically and deliberately. No. Just so you song. could write songs. Uh, <laughs> no, I'd rather never uh, write another yeah, song. Yeah, you, you think, oh, I've, I've dried up with the old songwriting. I'm going to have to pull it out with someone. It just pulls your heartstrings. And, and then you really every emotion. Yeah, it does act. But yeah. it, it is better to have loved and lost and lost no, than yeah. to have. Uh -huh. It's like you've got to have the bad times to make the good times good true. sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You have yeah. something to compare it with. The uh, memory lane there down to uh, Aiko Aiko. You enjoyed that? Oh, yeah, it was great fun. The whole process was great. Tom was great. I mean, we recorded it in the mobile, which is quite unorthodox, really, even then, wasn't it? <laughs> um, we, had a, we had a great time. Yeah. The great musicians around. We just had fun, and it all, the time, it all worked. Mm. Is it a good business to be in still, no. guys? No? no yeah, yeah, if you're doing all right. It's a very, um, may I say it, corrupt business. Yeah, corrupt. Yeah. yeah. You, what you hear on the radio is not necessarily the cream of the music. No. Yeah. No, it's, exactly. There's only two labels left, yeah. Universal and Sony, and yeah. people tend to favor them in broadcasting. So I mean, there's lots own. of young artists and young singer-songwriters who are got so much talent but you'll be very it's unlikely you'll hear them yeah put it that way see if you you go into a supermarket and listen to the to the muzak 
in yes, the supermarket. Yes, yes. It's dominated by well-known acts that are owned by either Universal or, or Sony. Sony yeah. and, and all of the money that the supermarkets have to pay, which is millions of millions of pounds a year, goes to, to the PRS, goes to Sting, Paul McCartney, Michael Jackson, yeah, you know, it doesn't even go to whoever's been played. PPL, <clears throat> yeah. PPL, as I meant to collect money, art has been played in shops and restaurants. Yeah. Now, someone in that restaurant or shop will fill in a form um, for PPL and pay a license fee. But there isn't even a facility on the form to say which artists you're playing. Goodness so where does no. this money go? It goes into a Same great with big Spotify. Pot. Yeah. It, it goes to the people that don't need it. Yeah. It's not actually going to the people that are being played. I don't um, know it's to make them all easier for them, but it's, it's a very unjust, yeah. very unjust. Are we helped or hindered in our voyage by Simon Cowell and the likes? <laughs> well, I don't think it's helped. I don't I, think it's helped. No. I think Simon um, has, has gone for the obvious. He's a businessman. He's a businessman he's the and he's part of the whole Sony Corporation machinery. Well, he's a major shareholder. And uh, so, so he just follows the money, basically. Yeah. And but interestingly, what's happening in the music business now is that the artists themselves, thanks to the internet and Facebook and uh, mm -hmm. YouTube and mm -hmm. the various ways of getting your music out on the internet independently, are starting to realise that what's what happened with Simon Cowell and the whole of, the, of the, the, the great corporations taking music over, in order to sell more of it, they devalued it. So now, I mean, you can go to iTunes mm -hmm. and download a track for 79 pence. And, you know, that's, that's less than you would have paid 50 years ago mm -hmm. for a single. Box. Well, at least you know, they're downloading it from oh, iTunes yeah. and they're not just downloading it free. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, kids see music. It's the been free. Mm, they do. They, they do. do. They, 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 they yeah, actually see it as being free. They say, right. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. I said to this young kid once he, he downloaded all the time, I was talking to him. I said, How would you like it if, what do you do? And he said, I'm a mechanic. I said, How would you like it if I went into your garage mm. on a Friday when mm. you were about to be paid? Mm. And as you were about to be paid, I go, Thank you very much. I'll have that. Mm. He said, You couldn't do that. That's mine. I said, but that's what you're doing to young artists. Absolutely. All over the country. And the thing is with, uh, again, Sunny and Universal, their major acts mm. have a fan base and their fans want to buy the physical. Mm. Yeah. So they will always make money because Gaga's fans will always want the physical CD, yeah. Beyonce's, so on, so on. Mm. But for new acts coming up, and there's a lot of talent out there, it is extremely difficult. They're it's actually expensive talking about yeah. to create the physical now. You know, mm. if you're gonna ha if you're gonna make it a, a CD, it's it costs about I don't know four hundred quid for five hundred CDs. Yeah, it's about a pound just under. You know, it's roughly a, it's just so a it's little bit. The more you turn. buy, mm. so that's uh, it's very difficult. I, what but what what people are finding is that <coughs> the public actually are more interested in something that values the music. So mm. people are now starting to bring out seven inch and twelve inch singles on vinyl, back on vinyl again. You are involved in this <coughs> as well, aren't you? Well, I'm trying to be, but <coughs> I, I can't afford it. But mm. I've got some, I've got lots of friends uh, in in uh, in London who are starting to do limited edition vinyl records. Mm -hmm. And a seven-inch single with maybe uh, not a single, but a seven-inch EP with say five or six tracks on, mm -hmm. would sell in a beautifully with a booklet in a in mm -hmm. a nice mm -hmm. packaging for twenty quid. Mm -hmm. So there's value. They're, they're tr we're trying to bring back value mm -hmm. into the object and make mm -hmm. it a gift and not just wallpaper. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it's maybe I, it's maybe going the same way as as uh, writing and communication. Nowadays, younger people, the, the, the art of writing a letter has they gone. Can't. They can't. They can't spell. Do it. No. They they can't there's no spell. spelling. They're using predictive text. text. Yeah. Yeah. They can't spell. They can't talk properly. So they've dumbed, it. everything has been dumbed down, whether it be the music yeah. or whether it be communication. They can't add up mentally. Yeah. 
I mean, God mm. help oh, yeah. if the computers go down. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, how would they keep And they're not even doing Tesco. it. They're given the. They're not even teaching that. It's no, that's that's true. Because people use predictive mm. text, gibberish, basically. They're gibberish. What are you guys working at at the moment? You you've come over, Natasha, to Tom's studio, I've, and you're working with him. Yeah, mm. I, I've been coming over since last year. I've been this about third time. Um, the process of uh, getting an album together. It's all wow. original material, and Tom you now um, has kindly offered to produce it. Yeah. Um, well, so I've I written started. so many songs over the years. I've got mm. so many songs, and it's the chance to actually take some of them, write new ones as well, mm. as I do, and, and put some of them onto an album. Is it, yeah, is it been, hard? It's been mm. waylaid, because mm. she... I introduced her to my engineer, Steve. Oh, Steve Fernley. Steve Fernley. Mm. And because Steve's a, a disco boom, 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 oh, freak, yeah. I wanted the album to be kind of world and, and a, a broad palette of, of, yeah. of different mm. cultural influences. Mm. And Steve's got in there now, and it's going to end up a bloody disco album. I can no, see it happening, no, because she's a disco queen no, and doesn't no. realise it. She won't admit it. <laughs> no, that. he's exaggerating as normal. He's just completely <laughs> empty. It's just that he cares, it? Natasha. I mean, I've got tracks on there. It's just piano and voice. Yeah. Well, you work that out as being disco. I've got well, really Steve knows. hasn't got hold of um, it yet. Steve will no, make it No, this disco. all started because it was one track that I did that was a yeah. sort of... Uh, it was a deep house track, a beautiful what, track. What it was the, just so. What the bloody hell is deep house? Anyway, what and we did mean? it because we and um, he thought we'd all gone mad. Yeah. Of course we hadn't, um, and it was just something we did. Yeah. But what I I've had done to get is that stripped. As a dig, I, I always had a mind for the album to strip it down to piano and voice. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And it's but, nothing like disco. And, yeah. and this word disco, I don't even know what it means do you find, anymore. Do you, find, House. do you find that you're, you, you know, you're, you're doing the work down at Narrow Water in the castle area? Yeah. yeah. Do you find that that's conducive to creativity or not? Or is it all blasé? It can be, yeah. yeah. And, and, this, and Steve's got his studio, which is very accommodating. It's very little, it's a nice little studio. And you know that if you want a breath of fresh air, you can pop your head out. Mm. And then there's, what you'll hear is horses neighing in the background. Yeah, or yeah. You'll see a bit of country. And I love the countryside and nature, so yeah, it's quite uplifting. Rather than being in Denmark Street and coming out and just fumes and cars oh, God, and yes. lunatics. Yeah. Is that where you're living now, in London? Is no, that your no, base no, now? I wouldn't live in there. Where are you based? Uh, Muswell Hill, Yeah. just down towards Friend Barnet. Muswell Hill is the highest place in London. It's mm. been given urban village status. Yeah. It's where Alexandra Palace is, where the yes. first BBC transmission came. Oh, yes, of course. Came. Yeah. And there's an old race course. We've got lots. It's a conservation area. So Edwardian, Victorian. It's very lovely. And we've got the Heath, Hampstead yeah. Heath, which is a mile uh, up the road. We've got yeah. Highgate Woods. We've got Alexandra great. Palace with boating lakes, ice rinks, deer parks. You're blessed. I am. And it's only like um, five, six miles from the centre of London. Yeah. Good, it's like yeah. a village, it's like a more yeah. of a little village. Is, do, you, do you find now uh, it's necessary or is it because of technology no longer necessary to be actually based close to London? Is London still the hub? I suppose it can be. I mean, people, it's like people are working from home. Writers mm. are working from home. You can be anywhere and write. Yeah. Then you come to London. I mean, I've done all the, everything there is to do in London. Being yeah. there, done that. Um, I don't really need to be in yeah. London. Mm. I like where I am because it's on the Hertfordshire borders. Yes. So you're starting to get into the countryside. Because yeah. I'm a real country person. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I find it all a bit too mm -hmm. too much. Other. It's yeah. a great city yeah. and, and, and there's a, something to do for everybody. Yeah, of course, of course. But no, ideally I'd like to be in Hertfordshire yeah. and just mm -hmm. come in. Do you find it difficult you, on the album you're doing to actually uh, ask yourself the question and to get an answer, is it finished? Oh no, it's kind of it's crazy, because this album will take a wee while because I keep adding tracks. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You, you don't know so when it's many, finished. You just don't know. And the thing is, it's an opportunity to do something with those tracks. I've recorded them before, say in Canada, where I live for a while, um, but the masters have been lost. Yeah, and they're not there, so it necessitates re-recording some. But it gives you an opportunity to 
just tailor it a little bit. Yeah. Some good songs. Yeah. And um, it'll be quite eclectic. Well, we look forward to it. There'll be no it. disco songs no, on No, no. Don't go back there. <laughs> that's dealt with. You've dealt with that's well. No, no, that's well. no, no. You've that's another you, album. You have, you have another that's one coming. House. Yeah. No, there's, no, other, that's, uh, yeah. there's other sides to me. Oh, yeah. This would be quite a contemporary album in good. itself. And from a big ballad to, yeah. there are a couple of worldly well, We look forward to hearing like, this, I tell you. Oh, I hope look, so. I really look forward like to it. Tom, you brought the ukulele with you. <laughs> I did, yeah. Well, I didn't know whether you wanted me just to talk to me or make a fool of me. So I would, I ever I, do that. I brought, I brought the opportunity to make a fool of me you as will well. Not, when you lift an instrument <laughs> in your hand, Thomas, you never make a fool of yourself. <laughs> oh, God. What are you going to do for us? Uh, well, I just sing a little rock and roll song. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? On the it? ukulele, if Isn't you like. Nice? Well done. And everyone can join in, because yeah. everybody, everybody knows this. Well, beep up Lula, she's my baby. baby. Beep up Lula, Lula, I don't mean baby. baby. Beep up Lula, Lula, she's my, my baby. baby. Beep up Lula, I don't <laughs> mean baby. Beep up Lula, Lula she's my, my baby. My baby, 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 my baby. Is she the woman with flying feet? She's a woman that's got that beam. She's a wonder woman, and I don't know. She's a woman, tell me mo, 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 mo. Be Bapalula, she's ba, my ba, baby. Ba, be Bapalula, I be don't ba, mean baby. Be Bapalula, she's my baby. Be Bapalula, my baby, my baby, my baby. She's a woman, and I've forgotten the next one. Be Bapalula, 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 Hey, well done, <laughs> splendid. Do you see anything of Richard these days, Branson? I, I saw him just before Christmas. Uh, he's doing all right, you know. He's, he's <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, just a little. <laughs> he's uh, unbelievable. His head's full of space travel. Yeah, he's gone completely. Yeah. You can't talk to him about anything sensible. Yeah, Could unless it's to do with space. being weightless, and you know, he loves his. He's just been um, practicing weightless. He's been taken up and dropped from a dropped great height. Yeah, which yeah. is what happened to him when he was a baby, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> This man can talk this way of the of, of the founder of, Ger of Virgin Records because they're good friends and he's yeah. he founded the company uh, with him yeah. all those years yeah. ago. So the last thing he, he <coughs> that I, I saw, uh, he's he's been floating in space trying to drink water. You have to learn how to drink water when you're weightless because it it for, it floats out of the cup or the jar. Yes. So that you get these blobs of water and you have to kind of can use a straw reach forward. Yeah, that's good. Know. Idea. Use Maybe a straw. Can, I've got no idea. I've never been weightless, no. apart from in my sleep, of course, when I astrally travel. We've been God, legless. Can you imagine at times. that's all you had to do? At good in your parties, life. we've been legless. <laughs> can you imagine that you were that secure in your life that all you had to do was play around? Yeah. Weightless. Yeah. Yeah. He lives yeah. a charmed life, that man. Yeah, but Richard, I mean, if you're life. watching, Tom wants a couple of weeks, of a month in nectar. In nectar. And, we, and I'm going to come with him. Oh God! And he's yeah to keep you in line. Where are you going? <laughs> Nectar, his no, private no. island. No, it's Necker. Necker, no, Necker, the Nectar. island. Yeah. I, I'm getting mixed up with the the honey. Well, sure, it is a kind of honey place. It's a beautiful place. Well, wow. it was almost burnt down, down wasn't there. it? It was, yeah. 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 It was a, they were very and fortunate. The beautiful Kate Winslet had to rescue Eve yeah. Branson. No, it's such yeah. a beautiful island. I mean, the West Indies is just it's, stunning. He's a yeah. lucky man. I've never been there. I'd, I'd like You've to You've never been to the West Indies? No, no. Oh, Well, the nearest was Miami. I've been to Miami. But no, it's nothing. No. It's not even no. comparable. <coughs> You've got to go to Antigua, Grenada, Tobago. I want to go to where James Bond went, Kingston and all around there. Oh, you want to go to Jamaica? Yes. There's better places. Yes, oh, indeed. Jamaica's lovely in some areas, yeah. How's your own band going, the one across the water? You've been gigging. July, yeah. Well, Pete, our lead guitar player, he had to fight cancer all up pretty well all last year, but he's come through it. So we're now just um, rethinking about getting some gigs this year. We've mm. just put a record out called, uh, I've forgotten what it's called, Re, not regeneration, what's another word? Oh. Um, 
Oh, I can't remember what it's called it's, now. You've done it. But you were, were, you in, were you on the continental Europe last year? We were, yeah. Where did you we go? Did, we, went to, we did a lovely gig in Spain. We did Germany and Spain mainly yeah, last year. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we're going to be doing the same two festivals again and maybe Italy and a couple of more mm. places around as well. Uh, and see what happens, you know, and see if the record oh, sells. I can't even absolutely. remember what it's called now. Oh, it's done. But it's dusted. available. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, you're uh, you're going. Uh, the work will continue. Uh, when is your your new girlfriend coming over to you? Oh God. Uh, well, next week. Well, bring, so bring I'm, her in. I'm going to be very I'm private. I'm leaving. No, and she's no. coming. She's, oh no! She's, oh no! It's she's very private perfect. and very Just shy. Boom, so I'm not going to I'm not going to yeah. introduce That's her to no. to Nuri nightlife yet. No, I don't think. No. And certainly, her. I'm not certainly not going to introduce her to the likes of you. What would I do other oh than make her? I wouldn't trust you as far as make I could Make her feel very you. welcome. Yes, yeah, you I would. bet you would. Yeah, so you would. yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> She'd love that man. No, I'm going to keep it to myself. Eche, as, as Pilot said, Eche homo. Behold the man. Behold the man. Would I do such a thing? Yeah. Do yeah, you yeah. see the way, <laughs> the slithery way you said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even. A I'm, not gonna say, I'm not going to say anything too bad until you bought me breakfast. Oh no, that's we love a good breakfast, <laughs> and that's important. It's in, you're incapable of saying anything too bad to anybody, Tom. That's oh. why I like you. Oh, unless okay. it's a bad person. It's a bad. Per I'm not. You take bad, bad people, people out, but well, with good people, you're you're good. Yeah. Yeah. There's no two ways about no, that. Life's too short, Rowan, to it be is. grumpy at people. No, it's really. True. Absolutely, but we don't do grump. No. No, I thank I, you for coming in, the pair of you. You've been great. Thank we you shall very breakfast. Much. We'll, we'll break. You're okay for breakfast, yeah? Yeah, yeah, great. Down, we'll, we'll go to Grounded Wonderful. down there. They're good. They're, they look after us. Grounded? Well. Are you allowed to say Grounded? I can say anything what I want. What does that mean? That's, That's the, the name, name of the, the, the place. Shop. On oh, the yeah, corner. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you're saying yeah. I'm now grounded? Yeah, my great, great grandfather, my, my great grandfather didn't die at the Somme for me not to be able to say Grounded. Ah. You know, that, I mean yeah. the general principle, yeah. he didn't die yeah, in yeah. but you no. know what I mean. Yeah, yeah I do, yeah. yeah he they do people wonderful freedom. poached eggs on toast. Poached eggs on toast, toast. for us today. <laughs> Maybe a touch of bacon <coughs> could oh. be our way. Honk, honk, and that other things mm -hmm. too. That's what we'll have for breakfast, assuredly. Oh, that's what we shall do. See, wow. She's perfect. Only so wow. Tune. Was that in June? Beautiful. It was yeah, you've got only a nice tone. An, only an Irishman Thank could you. Got possibly. Nice depth and tone that's nice. Voice. Have the, the, Let's resonate the for the last. To, let's to resonate do that. for the last five seconds of the program. <laughs> That's it from the programme today. It's been wonderful. Natasha England and, <laughs> and Tom is with me here. Tom Newman. Great stuff. Thank Welcome you, and go well. Thank Take you, care. Natasha. Enjoy your poached <laughs> eggs. How do you like your eggs in the morning? I said to the woman. She said unfertilized. That's the way she said it. So be it. Go well. Take care. Have a good day.